Earlier last week, WhatsApp started rolling out in-app notifications to Android and iOS users, revealing an update in its terms of service and privacy policy. Wondering what you should do? I will try to make it easily digestible and dissect it for you to make a firm decision further. Hello everyone, my name is Neeraj and I am the founder of Step to Inbound. We talk about marketing and ways to improve your online business on this channel. So what's going on? The notification informs users about the privacy policy and talks about what information they collect and how this affects you in person. It also explains the steps they take to protect your privacy like building their services so delivered messages are not stored and giving you complete control over what you communicate with WhatsApp services as such. How much time have you got? Users have to accept the terms and services of this new policy by February the 8th, 2021 or delete their account. Is it practical? Not really as you would have to delete your account and convince your friends and family to get rid of this app completely. I am assuming they have a lot of information and it's just a formal sign of this time. What is in it for me? Why should I care? The information you provide, your account information, mobile phone number and basic information, including a profile name of your choice to create a WhatsApp account and so on and so forth, your messages which are stored in your device, your connections, status information, customer support and other communications get tricky when you read about transactions and payments data which specifically talk about and I quote if you use our payment services or use our services meant for purchase or other financial transactions we process additional information about you including payment accounts and transaction information payment account and transaction information includes information needed to complete the transaction for example information about your payment method shipping details and transaction amount now if you use our payment services available in your country or territory our privacy practices are described in the applicable payments privacy policy. Now payment account and transaction information is fintech or banking related in layman's language. That's a lot of information. If they know amount of transaction, payment method, etc. It is crazy. I don't want them to have it. Imagine if I ask you orally, hey, I need to know how much you paid for buying that grocery online in what currency store with date and time. It sounds okay. What if I ask you the same question for a Bitcoin or gold or stock purchase suggested? Not something I would want to share. Now imagine you don't have to answer me, you just have to click yes on the right hand side of the app. On the left hand side, all you can say is not now. One bit traffic, you know. Facebook for business users. If you are a business that uses Facebook or business, users may not like you anymore because they know that there is, more, there is one more data that is being shared. What if I opt in? Everything works as usual and you share more information with WhatsApp and thus the parent company Facebook. What if I don't? You can go to a different app with similar features and more control over your privacy. For instance, Signal, Telegram, Skype or Microsoft Teams or even BlackBerry Messenger. Now I'm a little biased when it comes to BlackBerry and for example, I'm paying uh, $3.49 per six months and I got the first year totally free from BlackBerry. The scam and specifically the online and banking related ones are on the rise everywhere across the globe, at least here in Canada. It is a daily phenomena. Now, my website gets hacking attempts almost every day. It is not directly connected to this situation, but the more data I share, the chances of getting scammed, hacked, or even getting phishing emails in my inbox are more, and they, and they certainly increase. Now, I made a video a few months ago for scamming advertising that Facebook is allowing to run on their platform. There are good business out there that are still on Facebook, but their voice kind of gets lost among all these scammy ads that a user is forced to watch when they are skimming through their timelines. One of my clients was getting a lot of leads from Facebook, but they just decided to stop advertising on Facebook after the much known Cambridge Analytica scam. For WhatsApp account owners like you, it's going to put the users in a compromising situation where you must choose between your privacy and using WhatsApp on the other side. Obviously, Facebook, the parent company, expect that there will be more opt-ins than the people who will decide to delete their accounts instead. I guess Facebook is planning something very big in the online payments world and this is just a formality. They will have plan A if it works and plan B if it doesn't. Most probably they will win and the users will lose whatever may be the click of that button. The original founders of WhatsApp have been against this. Having stated that it is Facebook that gave you free WhatsApp services all these years. Free connectivity, video calling, images, video sharing and whatnot. I'm thankful to them because it kind of helps you stay connected with your loved ones without paying money, uh, which you still may have to if you decide to use cell phone or your SIM card for doing the same. People have made millions while just doing Facebook videos. So there's a good 
and there are not so good things both. So what could be the future? If everyone says no, big tech will have to discourage data sharing of this level and they will try new methods to do so. If yes, more companies might want to try this near future to an extent that it can become a new normal in a very few years from now. Like it or not, the decision lies with you. Whatever you decide, here is what you can do. I recommend buying a digital identity production from any well-known cybersecurity brand such as BlackBerry, Bitdefender, OnGuide by BMO, so on and so forth. These are some of the options you must have in the year 2021 and beyond. Sharing more simply means you are opening the gates for more impersonation. You remember someone created another profile on Facebook with your dear friend's image and you just got a friend request. Sounds familiar? Yes, that would become even more easier with this kind of privacy policy in place if you decide to click yes of course so here is the bottom line the less is better in online data sharing sharing as less as you can that is in your interest getting more and more data from you is in their interest so which side are you think again have a good day thanks for watching and do not forget to hit the subscribe button